Sixth week in ordinary time, February 13, Monday. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Catherine de Ricci. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 4, verses 1 to 15 and 25. Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. And again she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why has your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Cain spoke to Abel his brother, and when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. And now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground, and from your face I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so, if anyone kills Cain, Vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him shall attack him. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son, and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 8, verses 11 to 13. At that time, the Pharisees came and began to argue with Jesus, seeking for him a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Truly I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them got into the boat again and went to the other side. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. A reflection. What or who is causing me to sigh, to experience pain and frustration? The motive of the Pharisees is to find fault, to criticize, to argue, to pull Jesus down. Today's world would call it toxicity and give us a plethora of tools and techniques to deal with this pain. The remedy is sometimes more dangerous than the problem. Jesus shows us a unique way out, to move away and enter the boat. The boat has always been used as a metaphor for the church, since the Ark of Noah until current times when the bark of Peter continues to safely carry her children. I shall spend time with Jesus in the boat, allowing him to refresh me, to take me to the other side. Amen.